My name is Margaret Butler. Um, I live at Lenham Heath now with my husband Roland. Uh, my mother and father met the Dean many years ago in, the ch in his children's camps which he used to run and they got married and have been with the Dean ever since. Then he was the Dean of Manchester and they came from Manchester with him when he moved to be the Dean of Canterbury. We lived in the deanery at Canterbury with the Dean and his wife, Noel Johnson, and when the war came, for safety's sake, Mrs Johnson and her daughter and my mother and two, uh, two girls were, went to the Dean's house in Wales where we lived until after the war. When the war finished, we came back to the top of Charing Hill where the Dean had bought the towers, uh, the lindens and the cafe. Uh, we ran the cafe for him for many years. Uh, the Dean, his wife Noel and two children, Kazire and Karen, were frequent visitors to the cafe at that time. Um, we had prisoners of war working at the cafe, uh, helping out. They were not allowed to be paid but were happy to do jobs and one I remember was a chef and there were two others. Um, one was Paul and one was Walter and unfortunately I've forgotten the name of the third one. Uh, the cafe was altered as was the towers, uh, improved in many ways and the big bay windows are put in which were lovely to sit in and one could have uh, your afternoon tea sitting in the bay windows overlooking the beautiful view. In this photograph the lady on the right is Miss Cadman. In the centre is Margaret's mother Elsie Crow and the gentleman on the left is Miss Cadman's brother. Miss Cadman was a member of the local history society and so enjoyed the outings that were arranged each year. She bequeathed money to the society after her death. The society uses this money each year for the outings which are named the Cadman outing in her memory. Here we see the young bride and groom with the Dean of Canterbury at St Peter and St Paul's Church Charing. The Dean married Margaret and her husband at our local church. This wonderful vehicle was the Dean's caravan. It even had leaded windows with a little bay window on the front. I wonder whether these windows were stained glass. Margaret tells me that in the front there was a slot where you put a large handle and turn this handle so the whole upper part of the caravan rose up so you were able to walk up and down inside. It looks very unstable to be towed. In the latter years the Dean altered the towers so that it was made into two separate dwellings and had the stable and garage converted. He, um, my parents lived in the top part of the towers. Another family lived underneath. Uh, the Dean retained the top part of the converted stable block for his own use and my husband and I, newly married in 1961, lived underneath. And through those windows again there were the most fabulous views. There's a Charing Football Club, August 1958, going out for a football match. 
Um, they're leaving the Royal Oak with their wives, supporters and girlfriends. And the match was arranged by Mr. B. Werner, an ex-German prisoner of war and captain of Charing Football Club. They're on a tour of Germany. That's it, I think. That's me lot. <laughs>